Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good afternoon students. So this semester I will be your lecture for DCN1013 Computer Architecture and Urbanization. So today I would like to explain uh, a lot of things regarding how we're going to proceed with the class this semester. So since uh, due to the pandemic COVID-19, most of our class will still be conducted online. So therefore, I will uh, try my best to deliver online through these videos that I will post every week up until end of the semester. So today, okay, I would like to introduce to you guys how are we going to deliver, what content actually I will deliver. Uh, regarding the computer architecture and organization so hopefully you watch up until the end of the video because there are ways and uh, techniques for us to complete the semester that will introduce them to you guys okay for computer architecture and organization so let's start with myself first. Okay, so my name is Dr. Javi Fauzi Kamal Zaman. So I will be uh, your lecturer for this semester. So my expertise uh, is on the computer system and network. So I am on the computer system and network program. So my office is in the faculty. You can try and contact me through my phone number and also my email. But hopefully you use the WhatsApp group that I have given you. Please try and avoid to message me most of the time. I cannot possibly entertain almost 200 students most of the time. So use the WhatsApp group, post it there. And if your friend, if you can help your friends uh, regarding those questions, please do answer them. Okay, I, I will not, I will not be able to entertain you most of the time. So please make sure that uh, you stay uh, alert to the messages in the WhatsApp group. And for this class, basically, uh, we have three course outcomes. So the first course outcome will be uh, about identifying and classifying the computer structure and the functions. And for the second course outcome will be, uh, you will be able to explain the internal components and their functionality of a computer and how to make the design to produce the high performance okay so these components might be related to the control unit alu register memory and also cpu addressing modes so and then finally okay we will have one of our course outcome is for you to demonstrate how you can teamwork by solving problems in the group so some of the assessment here involving teamwork so it kind of uh, difficult for us to do the team working part online but due to a lot of tools that we can integrate like uh, like uh, google drive google uh, like for example google uh, cloud platform where you can edit powerpoint spreadsheets and uh, any document file together so this can help you to deliver the assignments and it is count as a part of the team working as well. So actually, how exactly are we going to explain about the uh, computer structure and components? So here is an example of a video of a very old computer structures. Okay, so this one is might be end of 1990s. So as you can see here, a person is trying to build uh, his own PC. So here you have wires, connecting things, components. So this component is what I will explain to most of you, uh, to all of you uh, during the classes. So if you can see, these are very old components. So somehow less attractive, somehow kind of like messy. So instead of just these components, okay, I would like to create some activity with you guys where you can uh, play around with the most recent component as well. So in the recent component, we have something like this. So this is the one of the most sophisticated PC that has been built today. 
So they use uh, the most latest uh, graphic accelerators. They use the latest uh, memory type. Okay, you see here it's not a normal hard disk anymore. Okay. <clears throat> so this kind of thing is the new technology that we have these days where within the class we try to discuss all of these components that we can have uh, that you can uh, that you might have any interest in okay so you can see here so it's a very very futuristic looking computer components okay you can see here there are tubings there There's, those are for coolants okay so this kind of uh, components here are the latest one that we have uh, in our market these days okay so it looks very cool right so most of them are used for gaming PC so those who are like to play games and this might interest you most so so for the course we have uh, four assessments okay so we have lab assignments I think there are around four four lab assignments that we have prepared for you okay so me and the other lecturers as well so and then uh, we have uh, the midterm test that we will be conduct online we have projects which you will do in group uh, in groups so this is where you have to demonstrate the team working part and finally the final exam so currently in UMP we haven't decided yet whether the final exam should be online or not depending on the situation but so far we prepared the final exam for you guys to conduct it online so to make life easier for us and also for you guys later on but just in case that UMP allow uh, you guys to return back to the university later on okay the final exam will be in paper base so the rules of the class is basically try to enjoy your class okay meet the assessment requirement that I provided for you okay don't do not skip the class so in case skip the class means that do not ignore the videos that I upload so the videos that I upload okay at the description of the video I will include attendance link for the Google form for you to fill so if you do not fill in those uh, form okay I will come you as absent so in this case uh, you will not get any attendance for the class so based on the UMP rule if you do not attend the class okay uh, we are allowed to ban you from the final exam so you will not pass the class so this is a, a very serious thing so please make sure that you do watch the videos, fill in the attendance and submit all the assessment requirements that we have provided for you okay so try your best to get full marks because uh, these days is easy since online class you have your own time okay most of the assessment is uh, basically online where you have open book exam so uh, things will be easy for you try to get full marks uh, the best marks that you can actually so important information regarding this course throughout the semester will be in Google Classroom and also Kalam. So Kalam is an official medium for students in UMP and Google Classroom is for me to help you guys to stay alert in your, uh, using your smartphone as uh, your notification device. Since Kalam, they don't have push notification for your smartphone. So I would like to integrate the Google Classroom as well, where if I post something online, you will, yeah, you will immediately get the notification in your smartphone through the Google Classroom app. Okay, so please download the Google Classroom app, install the Google Classroom app uh, through your iPhones or your Android. And here, okay, inside your Google Classroom, okay, you can also use your PC browser. So if you have your Google Classroom, you registered in your Google Classroom, here will be your Google Classroom. So you're looking for your Google Classroom, you have to join the class, okay? So here you need to join the class. When you click join the class, okay, you have to enter class code. Okay, what class code? What is the class code? Okay, since I'm your teacher, I already have the class on, okay? So your class code is this code. 
So if you install the Google Classroom, please key in this code now. Okay, please key in this code now, and you will be inserted inside the Google Classroom immediately. So next time I will put something in the Google Classroom. Okay, like for example the lecture slides, the lab assessment, okay, the lab tasks, okay, or any other things, notification that I would put, uh, I would put uh, on the on the system or anything, you will get a notification immediately inside your smartphone. Okay, so you just copy this one. Okay, like for example, you copy the number, type in, and insert it inside the join class code. Okay, so make sure you use this class code. Okay, so once you have entered your class code here, okay, so if you put uh, this one, you have join class, enter that class code here, okay, and then join. So you will get this kind of tab inside your Google Classroom, okay. So inside your Google Classroom, you will see a lot of things, okay, I haven't posted anything yet, okay. So in, later on, we want to meet online, okay, like for example, uh, seems that somebody suggests that we have a face-to-face -face discussion online, so we can create under the Google Meet link, okay, here inside the class, okay. So you have classwork here, I haven't created anything yet, so people only me and myself, okay, only myself here. And then, uh, in case you are using Google Classroom, please use your full name, okay, please use your full name. I don't want... Uh, a ridiculous name okay made up names for you guys and usually for your google account you use made up names okay so make sure that you use your real name for the google classroom because your real name instead of google, uh, real name i think i prefer for you guys to use your id okay use your id okay so that i can sort your your id with your name later on sometimes people put in their names but uh, they might have a similar name, okay, they might use the same name. So this one is kind of troublesome for me to find out who's with which ID. So instead of using names, please put in your ID as, uh, your student ID as identification, okay. So some of the assessment, I will post the grades here as well. So you can see immediately what you get, your marks that you get. Okay, so Kalam take time a little bit because I have to upload, but here I can mark it online and give it to you uh, immediately. So this is one of the benefit of using the Google Classroom as well. So, but the submission of assessment, okay, assessment, since we have to use the UMP system, so submission, even notification, I will put in Google Classroom, but most submissions starting this semester, I have to make it in Kalam. Okay, so you have to submit the assignments and tests in Kalam as well. Okay, so I will notify that in Google Classroom, you will get the push notification. Okay, even in WhatsApp, but Google Classroom is uh, easier for me because if I post it, I don't need to remind you again in WhatsApp. Okay, so and in case you cannot get WhatsApp, you can look into the browser. Okay, open it in the browser as well. Okay, so that. Okay. Uh, I just have one advice for our online class. Please give your commitment 100%. And if you have given you commitment 100%, okay, so there will be no problem for you in your studies for this course. Okay, so you will get the good marks, you will proceed, you will get good, uh, good grades later on. So hopefully uh, you can advance in your next semester later on uh, perfectly. So I also would like you guys to give commitment 100% so that we will not have any trouble later on. So give your commitment 100% and we can have a great semester together. So that is it for me, Dr. Shafi Kamal Zaman. So I will see you guys next week with the first chapter and also some of our lab tasks. So all of them I will post in the uh, Google Classroom. Okay, and please check them. And don't forget to fill in your attendance at the end of this video. And do not forget to subscribe my channel so that you get new updates later on uh, when I upload my video. So that's all. Stay safe. Bye-bye.
السلام عليكم